Hello friends, today I'll show you how to design a certificate using MS Word software. I've made a few color variants of this certificate, as you can see. So, let's get started with the certificate design. First, I'll create a new document. Next step is page setup. For that, I'll click on the layout tab. From here, I'll click on the size option and select the page size as letter. You can also choose a different size if you want. Then, I'll go to the orientation tab and set the page orientation to landscape. After that, I'll set up custom margins. For that, I'll click on the Margin option and select Custom Margins. Here, I'll set 0.5 cm margins on top, bottom, left, and right. Now, I'll start designing the certificate layout. First, I'll insert a logo image. Insert the logo of the organization you're creating the certificate for. Then, to move the logo easily, I'll go to Wrap Text and select the In Front of Text option. Now I'll resize the logo. Next, I'll insert a text box. For that, I'll go to the Insert tab, select Shapes, then select Text Box. Here you can add organization name. Now, I'll remove the fill and outline of this text box. Then, I'll copy the text box and place it accordingly. You can also add registration information, address, and other details of the organization here. Next, I'll select both text boxes together and align them to the left. Then I'll insert another text box where I'll write this certificate of achievement presented to. Now, I'll draw a line shape, and then change its color. I'll select the line shape and the text box together by holding down the control key. After selecting both, I'll align them to the center. Now, I'll insert another text box to enter the name of the person receiving the certificate. I'll choose a font for this text, increase the size, and set the alignment to center. Now, I'll remove the fill and outline of this text box. Then, I'll insert another text box where you can write details about why this certificate is given and any other info. I've added dummy text here. Now, I'll remove the fill and outline of this text box.
Now I'll add date and signature. I'll insert a line shape and change its outline color. Then I'll insert a text box and write signature. I'll change its font, increase the size, and remove fill and outline. I'll select the text box and the line shape and align them to center, then group them. Now I'll duplicate this group and paste it here. In the new text box, I'll type date. I'll select both groups together and align them to top. Now, I'm going to insert a shape. The shape name is flowchart, manual input. Now, I'll edit the shape. Here, I'll select this edit point and move it upward. Then, using the curve handle, I'll bend the shape into a curve. Next, I'll select this edit point, and again, with the curve handle, I'll curve this part of the shape. After that, I'll rotate the shape and place it like this. Now, I'll adjust the position of these objects so that the overall design looks better. Next, I'll change the fill color of this shape and add a gradient effect. Then, I'll copy the shape and paste it here. After that, I'll change its fill color. I'll rotate this shape in such a way that it creates a curved effect. Again, I'll copy this shape, paste it here, and rotate it just like before to create another curved effect. After that, I'll change its fill color. I'll group these three shapes together. Add a gradient effect. Then, I'll copy this grouped shape, paste it here, and rotate it into position. Now, I'm going to create a certificate badge. For this, I'll insert a shape the shape name star 32 points. Then, I'll change its fill color and remove the outline. I will add a preset shape effect to this shape. Next, I'll insert an oval shape and place it on top of the star. Then, I'll change its fill color and remove the outline. After that, I'll insert a text box and type Awards Year. I'll change the font, size, and color of the text. Now, I'll remove the fill and outline of this text box. Then, 
I'll duplicate the text box and type awards below it. I'll select both text boxes and align them to the center. Finally, I'll select all the objects used to create the badge and group them together. At the end, I'll convert this file into a PDF because our certificate design is now complete.